Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you Baldur's Gate 3 on the Lenovo Legion Go with FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Pure Dark. And I'm also going to compare it with Lossless Scaling app that also has frame generation. So let's compare the two. And recently I did a video showing this game on my Steam Deck Steam OS with also the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Pure Dark. And like some people were saying that it looked ugly. Uh, stuff like that. I kind of felt like I didn't do the mod any justice. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this video today here. Like obviously, if you want the game to look good, perform good, you need better hardware. And the Legion Go has like significantly more power than the Steam Deck. So yeah, obviously it's going to be better. All right. So without further ado, let's just get started. Uh, let's install the mod first. The first thing you need to do is locate your game folder. I've got mine right here, Baldur's Gate 3. And you need to go inside the bin folder. Okay, and then locate your mod. I've got it in my downloads folder. It's here, BG3 Upscaler, FSR3 Build 02. That's the latest build of this mod as of recording. And you just extract these to the bin folder. So just like that, boom, you're done. You're basically done. And to interact with the mod, uh, you need to press the N key on your keyboard. And if you don't have a keyboard, um, what I like to do is, I'm going to open up Legion Space and I'm just going to bind one of my back buttons to the keyboard N key. So that's how I do it. Let me show you how it's done. So open up your Legion Space and then go into Settings, Controller, and then here, Button Mapping, click Edit, View Edit Layout. And then rear view, you can see here the Y3 button. I've mapped my Y3 button to the N key on my keyboard. Yeah, that's how I do it. I do it. So let's quit out of Legion space. Close window. All right, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna open up the Lossless Scaling app first. So make sure you have, if you have this app, open it up, and you can see here uh, the settings: scaling mode auto, scaling type is off. And then frame generation, I set it to LSFG. All right. And then also I've got um, draw FPS. So I know that it's working. So it would have a like um, FPS counter on the top left corner. And you just press scale. Uh, it gives you a window. So let's boot up the game first on DirectX 11. So this is a DirectX 11 game. In the past, we didn't have FSR 3.0 frame generation mods for DirectX 11 games, but Pure Dark somehow figured a way to make it work on DirectX 11 games. He also works for games like Fallout 4 and GTA 5. I might want to do a video on those games later on. So hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more of these videos, comparison on different mods, performance mods especially. Uh, I do a lot of videos uh, on gaming handouts, especially the Steam Deck, the Lenovo Legion Go. Talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. If that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. Okay. So press any key to continue. All right. I'm going to um, load an area inside Act 3, the like the town. I think that's one of the harder areas to um, run. So I'm going to demonstrate it there. I'm not going to test out every single location, obviously. Okay, I think uh, I need to turn on the FPS counter. Here's the Lenovo Legion Go one, the built-in one. Okay, so I'll show you the game without the mod on. Um, and then I'll turn on Lost the Scaling so we can see the performance there. And then finally, we'll go with the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Pure Dark. All right? Pure Dark's, like these both, like Lost of Scaling is a paid app. Also, the mod, the Pure Dark's mod, it's also a paid mod. So, in order to get the mod, you need to join Pure Dark's Patreon, go into his Discord server and download it there. And also, like there's a um, uh, there, like DRM to make sure. You you've joined his Patreon. So let me show you. So if I press the Y3 button, you can see this is the um, Pure Dax mod. This is the mod window. Um, before, like if it's the first time you open this window, it has a big authenticate button. You have to click on it and it takes you to the web browser. You need to log into Patreon. 
and once it's checked that you are joined to his patreon then you get these options so it's like the mod window is here but the mod is not activated right now if it's activated if you have the upscaling it has the resolution here i'll show you in a minute okay so let me go out into the town first okay use and i'll show you my settings uh it's basically graphic preset set to low okay so if i go to options video you can see borderless windowed uh, you need to be on borderless window for the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod to be on, as especially uh, on the lossless scaling app as well. So yeah, keep it at borderless windowed. Don't use full screen. And then resolution is uh, 1200p for my Legion Go. I think that's a sweet spot. It can go to 1600, but yeah, I think that's just an overkill. Um, Resync triple buffering. You can see here the upscaling, they're all off. And then quality preset is set to low and anti-aliasing with TAA okay and then inside the town here we're like around 30 FPS which is pretty good actually like not too bad but there's no upscaling okay but we can do better if we turn the stuff on so now let's um I'm gonna turn off the the frame counter because um lossless scaling has its own counter and it's got to be in the way so let me turn off this one okay and now let's turn on the lossless scaling so i press scale and we can see the counter when it's activated here all right see the counter and we do have a little bit of like ghosting I'm not sure if you can yeah you see that see the the character it, it's flickering a little bit yeah but uh it's not really noticeable but uh yeah it is there is there and we get like 60 frames so we've almost doubled our fps with this app on uh but yeah a little bit of ghosting flickering Okay, now let's turn this off and let's turn on, um, okay, so that's off. Is it off? Still got a counter. Oh no, it's still on. So unscale. All right, now it's off. And then if I turn on my fps counter for my legion go yep working back again so no more flickering this is the normal and like i was saying um the fsr 3.0 frame generation mod for pure dark it's not enabled so if i click enable debug view like nothing's happening right that's because frame generation is not on yet okay and i don't have the resolution right here so in order to do that, in order to do that, let me turn off debug view. All right. In order to, to turn it on, I need to um, set DLSS on. Either this on or you either turn on anti-aliasing to DLAA. So if I go to DLAA, you can see here resolution. It's running natively right now. So it's still on 1200p, but the mod is on right now. So now the mod is on. Uh, you can see we've got an FPS boost. And frame generation is working. So if I click enable debug view. See that? Yeah, that's that means um, frame generation is on. So yeah, the mod is activated right now. That's how you know if the mod is working. If you click enable debug view, you get this. And also um, for upscaling, you need to have this resolution so let me turn off debug view so it looks better okay and so yeah 
see here, we don't have that um, ghost thing, that flickering that we did have on the lossless scaling app. So it is obviously better. Okay, and let's see if we do the upscaling. See if we get any better performance. So video, let's not use DLAA, let's use DLSS and let's set it to quality. I think we get a slightly better performance. We get like a little bit above 60. So yeah, this mod works fine. And I think it's better than the lossless scaling app because um, there's like not noticeable flickering, ghosting on the character that we had. Right, and you can even go like balanced or so if we go to balance, so you can see here on the resolution, it's 696p. But I don't think we get much performance gain, but with balanced and quality. I think it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. So yeah, I think we just keep it at quality. I think that's the sweet spot. Maybe if you are, uh, you know, using a PC, you want more frames, maybe go with performance. Performance is like 600p, so yeah. But yeah, there's no much, not much gain, but the graphic quality is worse on performance, I noticed. I think it doesn't look as good, but like the FPS counter pretty much at 60 as well, so not much gain there. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it at quality. I think that's the sweet spot. Yeah, it looks slightly better. Nice blurry. It's more like it's more sharp. And we still get 60 FPS. So yeah, that's the mod in action. It looks pretty good. So I hope this video was insightful, helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.